0.05 gigatons of carbon is the biomass of termites, equivalent to that of humans surprisingly. They use this biomass in order to excrete and build their nests. Let's take a closer look into the world of termites. Termites are often referred to as white ants. That is simply wrong given that the 2750 species aren't even ants. They are actually roaches belonging to infraorder Isoptera. Ants belong to order Hymenoptera related to bees and wasps. In terms of anatomy, ants have a petiole, one or two segments between the mesosoma and gaster, and have harder exoskeletons. Termites only possess this hard covering over their heads. They can't sting or spray formic acid either. Termites have a eusocial colony structure and have many castes known as polymorphism. A colony is founded by two alates, the soon-to-be reproductive males and females who shed their wings after mating. They are now king and queen. Unlike ants, the king actually survives till the colony dies, not dying after mating. He continues to pass down its genes. The queen lays eggs and eventually swells to 4 to 6 inches, a process known as physogastry. Termites are hemimetabolists, undergoing incomplete metamorphosis to grow, just like roaches. They have a nymph stage and molt until they become adults. Ants undergo holometabolis or complete metamorphosis, having larvae and pupae. Tomite nymphs can either become workers or soldiers. Workers protect the brood, build nests and take care of the king and queen. Soldier termites protect the colony using their jaws. Some, like globitormes, literally explode and squirt glue over attackers. If a queen or king dies, supplementary reproductives take over. They can only become fertile once the current reproductives die, a feature which keeps the colony going for long. In the case of ants, the colony dies with the queen. And did you know a termite nest is made of their poop? Workers chew up detritivorous matter such as wood, cotton and leaves. The cellulose is then digested by special bacteria in their abdomens, a process unknown to scientists. The nest is actually beneath the mound, several feet below the surface of the ground. The purpose of the mound is to regulate temperatures within the nest and create microclimates suited for brood and fungus colonies. Yes, some termites farm fungi. Macrotomys gilvis farms termitomyces, which gives them nutrition, and the mushrooms can also be eaten by us. The termites' reputation for destroying buildings is only relevant to a few species. Not all are pestivorous and most of them live in the wild. Okay, how many new facts did you learn from this video? If you found this educational, I highly recommend you check out the channel for more awesome biological information. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.